Hello and welcome to Review Preview episode 12 for the Italian Grand Prix review and the Singapore Grand Prix preview with a special rush feature probably coming up at the end. Um, well the Italian Grand Prix was an okay race I think, it wasn't one of our best races of the season but it, it was a lot better I thought than the Belgian Grand Prix and the Spanish Grand Prix. Um, after practice, uh, Mercedes and Red Bull and Ferrari were looking pretty nifty. And Lotus on the long runs were looking pretty good as well. But it all collapsed in qualifying for some. Um, Kimi Raikkonen was one. Romain Grosjean was another. And Lewis Hamilton, the guy who I tipped for pole and who I believe would have had pole if he hadn't have made a mistake during Q2 running wide at the Parabolica and damaging the car um, and then getting held up by Adrian Sutel on his final run only left him 12th sandwiched between Raikkonen and Grosjean. Kimi Raikkonen who we now know is going to be driving uh, with Fernando Alonso and Ferrari next year which will be exciting but probably more on that later. Vettel went on to claim pole position from Mark Webber uh, Nico Hulkenberg had a sterling job for third, then Massa uh, somehow outqualified Alonso while they were trying to do the towing game and uh, the slipstreaming and it didn't work and Massa went too far ahead or as I think just said oh oi, mate you're on your own and went and qualified heaven. Rosberg was sick then it was Ricardo, Perez, Button and then John Eric Verne um, was five seconds off the pace because he ran wide in the parabolic and caused a lot of damage to his car and um, compromise, nearly compromised everyone else's final runs. Um, as the lights went out, Weber had a very good start, uh, but the second phase wasn't brilliant and Vettel was able to keep the lead going to turn one. But he, uh, but he had a heavy lockup. Kimi Raikkonen also had a heavy lockup, and uh, flew straight into the back of Sergio Perez. Perez though was lucky and was able to continue, but uh, Raikkonen had to pick for a new front wing and put him right at the back of the field. Uh, Hamilton started on the hard compound tyres, um, but got a slow puncture and his radio broke. So he was very lucky to be able to come into the pits for his uh, to get that slow puncture um, changed. He didn't find out to the end of the race actually that uh, it, it was um, a slow puncture that he had. Uh, Vettel though was continuing to dominate. Fernando Alonso made a fantastic move on Mark Webber um, to take second place, and Webber uh, after the stops was catching up. Uh, caught right up behind the back of the Ferrari, uh, but just could not find a way past to finish third. Massa had a very good drive for fourth. Hulkenberg held off Rosberg for fifth and sixth. Ricardo had a fan another good race for seventh. Uh, Grosjean had, uh, had a good race to eighth. Hamilton managed to get recovered to ninth. Button was tenth. And Raikkonen failed to score in twelfth for the second race in a row. Paul de Resta with a new thermal imaging camera on which is absolutely fantastic crashed out um, at the Del Roggio chicane uh, John Eric Verne also retired and those were the only two people that got a DNF next to their name uh, Adrian Suttle had a poor race as he dropped under 16 if we review my predictions I said Lewis Hamilton was going to uh, get pole position I, actually, I really do believe he would have taken pole if he hadn't have made that mistake in Q2 but he didn't, and it went to Sebastian Vettel. I did say he'd have the fastest lap, and I did get five points for that, because I was right. Roman Grosjean got the most positions gained. Uh, Adrian Sutter went backwards rather than forwards. Um, I said Hamilton was going to win. Uh, he didn't. Vettel won. I got no points. Uh, I did get second place right. The, uh, I said Alonso was going to get second, and he did. I said Rosberg was going to get third. It was Mark Webber. I thought Vettel would get fourth, and it was Massa. I said... Weber would be fifth, but I got two points for that. Um, it was actually Nico Hulkenberg. I said Raikkonen would be sixth, it was Rosberg. Um, I said Button would be seventh, it was Ricardo. 
I said Ricardo would be eighth, but it was Grosjean, but I did get five points. I said Paul Preston would be ninth, Adrian Sitchell tenth, when it was Hamilton and Button. So only 22 points for me this week, and that wasn't very, very good. Uh, as we look, as we look towards um, Singapore, um, I think Mercedes are going to be really strong here. Uh, they say it's one of their best circuits, so I think Hamilton will win this race, and I do think he will have pole position. Uh, I think Vettel will have the fastest lap around here, and I think Vettel will be second, and I think Alonso will be third. Fourth, then I I'm going to give that to Mark Webber. Fifth, I'm going to give to Rosberg. Sixth, I'm going to give to Raikkonen. Uh, then I think it will be Massa, Diresta, Hulkenberg. That's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the final point I'm going to give to Roman Grosjean. No, I won't. Grosjean's going to crash, isn't he? Sorry, Roman, but I think you'll crash, so I'll give it to Daniel Ricciardo. And most positions gained. I will give to Paul DeResta. Now, for us, just to finish off, um, Rush, the new movie uh, about James Hunt and Nicky Lauda's 1976 rivalry, uh, was released on Friday. I went to go see it on release day, and if you haven't seen it, it's a film you have to see. Even if you're not a great F1 fan, even if you don't know much about the history of F1, it is very good, and the commentary in it, will describe everything and it really is a fantastic film it's probably the best film I've ever seen if you enjoyed Senna which came out um, a, uh, a couple of years ago which was a documentary you will thoroughly enjoy this because everything has been recreated um, every single scene there are a few clips from real life but there are not very many of them at all and um, and I, it really is wor worthwhile to see. I want to go see it again. It was that good. Um, but yeah, you should go and see it. It is a fantastic, fantastic film. Uh, thank you for watching or listening, depending on what you're doing. And we'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.